guys, I did two videos recently. They're very short. So I just decided to put them together. One of them is a book haul. The other is just me talking about some books I read at work. So anyways, uh, enjoy the 7 a.m. view from our balcony and enjoy the videos. Hey guys, um, so I want to talk about uh, some of the books I read while I'm at work. Um, I try to sneak in about 10 or 15 minutes of reading every day. Here are the books. Oh well, actually this is my desk. These are not the books. Sunglasses, long curved yellow fruit, phone, book, books. Let's start with this one. I've actually read this one already. Um, I guess you can call them short stories. Um, it's Kurt Vonnegut writing about how he interviews people in heaven and then comes back to life. Pretty funny. Very short. That's one. Uh, the Colossus by Sylvia Plath. Short uh, poem collection. She's pretty good, guys. She is pretty, pretty good. They are very dark, very dark poems, kind of depressing. But uh, if you like poetry, if you've read her work before, recommend it. Next one is uh, Doors of Perception. It's about Aldous Huxley, famous writer of uh, Brave New World. Um, he decided to take, I think it was, uh, uh, he decided to take a drug, I forgot what it's called now, uh, but it's about his experience when he took that drug. It's pretty cool. Great writer. Prose is amazing. The next one is uh, The Lottery and Other Stories by Shirley Jackson. Very good horror writer. <laughs> Very short stories, but very, very good and to the point. Have you ever read her short story, The Lottery? It's friggin' terrifying. Next one. Subliminal. How Your Unconscious Mind Rules Your Behavior by Leonard Ludenow. I bought it solely because of the cover. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, let's see if I can get the effect right. It says, Psst. Hey there. Yes, you sexy buy this book now. You know you want it. I mean, it was speaking to me, so I bought it. Turned out to be pretty cool. My next one: the Collected Stories of Lydia Davis. Another short story collection. Very good. Very, 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 very short stories. Sometimes one paragraph. Sometimes just one sentence. But either way, very good and concise stories. Uh, very reminiscent of Borges, uh, if you ever read any of his works. So, get into this. Very good. Uh, and if I'm going to recommend anything from this pile, it's going to be this one. And uh, last, but certainly not least, is uh, Roberto Bolaño's 2666. <laughs> actually read this while I'm at work. I just showed it so I guess I have to talk about it. It requires a longer reading session because it's just a lot tougher to get through I think. So for now, see you guys later. Hi, I went to a thrift store the other day and they had a special buy one get one free. I decided not to go too crazy and I only bought a couple, well a few, not a couple. So, anyways, here it is. Sunset Park by Paul Auster. I've read one of his other books, Oracle Knight, I think it was called. Yeah, Oracle Knight. Anyways, here's the next one. The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. Uh, William Faulkner, very famous American writer. He writes mostly Southern Gothic stuff. Anyways, next one. Homebody Kabul by... Tony Kushner. This is a play, 
and that's all I know about it. Next one, Carrying the Darkness, the, v the Poetry of Vietnam War. Sophie's World, I think this one is about a girl that's being taught philosophy by a professor. This one, Eduardo Lalo, I think that might be the title, Simone, yeah let's just call it that, Simone. It's set in Puerto Rico, it's about a writer who is documenting his everyday life and he gets these anonymous notes from his stalker. This one called Conzer and Schaff Essentials of Business Arithmetic, third edition. <laughs> I picked this up because I actually saw the original cover, which was this. And if you can see what it says there, this book belonged to Olympia Garcia. Let's see if we can get a bit of lighting on this. There we go. Business Arithmetic, Enero 12, 1952. Ruston, Ruston Academy. This book was published in 1950, and I guess that would make it the oldest book I have. And uh, yeah, I looked up some stuff online and uh, apparently, Olympia used this in a Cuban college oh, in Cuba, of course. And uh, I looked up at some of the photos. I even found the owner of the book. There were yearbook photos of her classmates and pretty interesting stuff like that. So I just I never I didn't know I was gonna find so many things about it, but just thought it was kind of cool. Some, very old and it's weird it has some really funny sounding uh, exercises and problems for people to solve I've even found some of our notes around here which is kind of cool anyways next one the map and the territory by my Michelle Holbeck Michelle yeah Michelle Holbeck French writer he's been in controversy recently for books. Anyways, that's it.